I don't know about you guys, but when I was growing up, I really wanted to be in charge of people when I got a job. I wanted to be like a manager or a contractor or something where I got to order people around. I kind of get to do that in teaching. But what the problems we're going to be looking at today have to do with work. It's the kind of problems you're going to see where there's like a room that's getting painted or an orchard where the apples are getting picked or a lawn that's getting mowed or something like that. There's some job that's being done by people. And these problems help you figure out if you know how fast each person could do the job by him or herself, you can figure out how fast they'll do it together. But please don't be a bonehead on these problems, and here's what I mean. A lot of times, students add together the two individual rates. Here's what I mean. If we say Zach could mow a lawn in two hours and Allison could mow the yard in three hours, the bonehead would say, how long would they take it together? Two plus three is five. They're going to be faster when they go together, you guys. You don't add together the two individual rates. What you do instead is figure out what fraction each person could do by himself per hour, and then add those fractions together so you'll know how much they're completing together each hour. Once you know how much they do together each hour, you're going to have an equation that looks like this. Their hourly fraction together, hourly together, is probably going to be something that you had to find by finding common denominators. Their hourly fraction together times the time they spent working, time working, is going to equal one total job. These problems can be difficult not only because you're working with fractions, because you have to keep straight the fact that although he, like Zach, could do the job in four hours and Allison could do it in three, together it's going to be some fraction that they complete every hour. This formula will help you a lot and it will make a lot more sense once you start looking at specific examples.